Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be working with lines and paths inside Illustrator. We've downloaded a vector of flowers and plants from VectEasy and we'll use this as a demonstration and an example of how we can use the path and the line tools to recreate these flowers. So we'll start with the line tool. I'm going to click the line tool in the toolbar and simply draw a line on our document. Now I'm holding the shift key to make sure that line is perfectly straight. If you need to resize the line, you can simply use one of the selection tools and grab one of the points of the line and reposition that or rescale the line to your needs. I'm going to put it about here and again I'm going to hold the shift key to make sure that it's straight. It's easy to change the color and the thickness of our line by using the stroke controls. So you can see at the top in the menu bar here under stroke that we've got a stroke of one pixel. Now we can change that weight and that'll make the line thicker. So if we change it to five points, for example, you can see the line gets thicker and we can change that back to two or three points depending on what we want. In our example, I'm gonna switch it back to one point. Now, in addition to changing the thickness, we might want to change the color. We can go up to the stroke fill color here and use any of these swatches to change the color of our line. So we'll just use pink here as an example to show, and then we'll switch it back to black in this example. The final thing we'll mention in this example about lines is the ability to change the end point of the line. You can see our line has a squared top and a squared bottom, but in our other example over here, you can see those lines come to a nice point. Now, Illustrator can do this for you built in, so we'll simply click on the line, and instead of using the uniform option, we'll use this drop down menu, and you can see the different options we have available to us. So we can use a curved beginning and a curved ending, or we can bring that line to a nice point. For our example, we'll go back and we'll choose the curved beginning and the ending, or what's called the width profile one, and we'll use it to recreate one of the plants over here. Now let's use the pen tool to create one of the leaves or flowers on our plants as an example. I'm going to go to the toolbar and click on the pen tool or the path tool, and we're going to click and start our first point. So I'll click up here. Now, the way the path tool works is you'll click and create multiple points, and if you hold the mouse down when you create that point, you'll be allowed to curve the line that it draws. So for example, if I just move the mouse, you'll see from our point, Illustrator is creating a straight line. However, if I move the mouse maybe about here, and I wanna curve that line, I'll simply click and hold down the mouse, and then drag that point, and you can see using these handles, we can create a curve of that line. I'll go ahead and create a curve that's about there, and then I'll go up back down here, maybe put another point here, bring the mouse up about level here, and we'll try to match this curve by holding the mouse down again. And then we'll complete the path by clicking, and you'll notice the little circle icon that shows it's going to close the path at our first point. And again, I can click and drag to even uh, create a little bit of a shape here. So this is a basic shape of a leaf that we've created using the path tool. Now you'll notice it's not perfect, and it's really easy to go in and modify the different anchor points on your path. So let's zoom in a little bit using the navigator, and we'll go and take a closer look at this path. You can see the bottom part looks pretty good, but the top part's a little off. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on the path, and then to manage the individual points within the path, we'll actually need to use the direct selection tool, or the white arrow. Clicking on that will reveal the different anchor points within our path. This anchor point sits a little to the left, and it needs to be more centered to have this curve match perfectly. So we'll go ahead and we'll click one time, and I'll simply just click and drag that anchor point to about the middle here. We can use this as an eyeball feature here just to kind of see here. That looks about right. Now you can see the curve here doesn't match this curve, and our handles indicate that. So we can easily click on one of the handles and readjust that curve until we get a curve that looks a little bit better. Just some modification here to match that up a little bit. You can see what that's doing to our shape. And again, you can do this perfectly, or you can just eyeball it. And for this example, I'm just eyeballing this for you. Now that looks pretty good. So now we've got a better shape, better looking leaf. We can click on our path using the selection tool and we can use the fill option to fill it in and we can turn off the stroke if we want to hide the stroke or the border. Now that we have our leaf, what if we want to add an additional point or anchor point or actually remove a point from our path? Well, we can easily do that. We'll simply select the path again, but then we'll go over to the pen tool and you'll see the different anchor points have been highlighted for us. When I roll over the mouse of these anchor points, you'll see the icon with the minus sign. That will tell Illustrator to remove this anchor point. So if I click on this, you'll see that anchor point has been removed and the path just goes to a straight line. 
I'll undo that to put our anchor point back. And you'll notice this time if I move the mouse to a part of the line segment, you'll see a plus sign that has been added. And that plus sign allows us to add an anchor point anywhere we want to. So in this example, let's say we want to take a bite out of the leaf. Maybe an animal or some kind of insect took a bite out of this leaf. What we'll do is we'll create a point here by clicking here. And then I'll create another point by clicking here. And then I'll do one more in the middle. Now, what that will allow us to do, I'll zoom in using the navigator again. We can then use the direct selection tool to pull one of these paths out. So you can see I'm going to pull that out here. I'm then going to use the handles in there to create kind of like a bite mark, if you will, and then reposition that as we want. And then I'll zoom that back out. So you can see now we've modified the original path we've made by adding additional points and anchor points. At this point, you can simply scale, rotate, and reposition each of the leaves, and then position them on the stem that we created using the line tool. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your creative journey.